Welcome to the PV Magazine Roundtables USA program. We really need to balance technology, technological improvements and cost reduction initiatives with longer term reliability in the field. Hi hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and hi Erica. Hi, welcome. And joining us today, it's nice to see you. Likewise, nice to see you too, Erica. Five of the state's largest wildfires have happened in this year, in 2020. And uh, little be joined by Sarah Herman from Nova Source. Uh... It shows that you can see the area that is marked one. That's just after one normal cleaning that normally would resolve the issue. And so... There's also the opportunity, as I just said, to meet our experts. Jeff will be there, Alex, Daniel Chang, uh, Terrence. We are now diving into our advanced technologies program. Bernadette, which lessons can be learned? I think public enthusiasm for energy storage is going to get us to some of those early adopters, but they won't be enough to get us into the mainstream market. This is that utilities must insist on standards to make the transition easier. Applying that learning rate to our market forecast suggests that module price could drop by another 70% by 2050. When we walk to the edge of the cliff, we jump, and we're not sure if there's water or glass at the bottom, but either way, let's go and hurry up and get it done. <laughs> it's automation at first. 50 states to do one thing, and I'm proud to say we accomplished that one thing, and that was to elect Joe Biden as our next president. again next year. May that be in person or uh, online still? Hopefully in 3D and uh, we wish you all a very happy holiday season. Goodbye. <laughs>